Hey, what is up, Transformer family? Welcome to another episode of George Reviews. I am the 80s Transformers fan, and today I'll be taking a look at Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy's Optimus Prime. Before I get to that, we're going to take a look at Optimus in the packaging. Optimus is double cross tied down with uh, it's like a paper tie down in there. You can see for the first time in a long time. Optimus Prime comes with a trailer that's not Masterpiece Classification. And here is the new stylized box for Earthrise figures. It's the same shape of the War for Cybertron guys. And this is part two of the trilogy, the Earthrise thing. And inside of the box has some artwork for Optimus Prime. Um, art behind him in the background. He's emerging from it. I don't know if this is after crashing or what his laser rifle at the ready also says leader class figure in multiple languages back of the box is the shot of the product inside and as always this is some type of prototype or cgi render that's not the actual toy you can clearly see it with the naked eye hasbro down here optimus right there and they could use a bio and we all assume this is the exact same bio but sometimes they they tweak it and update it but Pretty much, I guess it's the same bio from um, 1984 side of the box. And without further ado, I'm going to get Optimus Prime out of his packaging. Slice his tape in two spots. One more down here. Optimus Prime is free and behind him is a trailer. And yeah, and yeah, these cheap bastards got it hollowed out to the maximum. And his laser rifle is last but not least. And, all right, before I move on to the figure, I'm going to take his insert and find our secret word of the day. This package inside, all of you take this decoder, and it looks like it says Micron. Get the trailer up. I know it has a little stand. It's like the masterpiece, sort of like the masterpiece, but look at that thing. I, I, I come to that. Anyway, and here is Optimus Prime. Optimus. Yeah! And all his glory. Now, the paint job, well, lack of paint job on him, he's just uh, red plastic in the chest and in the arms. And it can be a little bit more uh, more rich. It's sort of like almost leaning towards pink color, more than just a straight red. i bring him closer so we get a look at that face. He has some metallic blue eyes in there, which is kind of weird because... The helmet plastic has a little bit of metallic fleck to it and it's kind of blending in. It just should have been just a um, a pale powder blue would have been fine. But easily recognizes Optimus Prime. Has the dual antenna on the sides of his helmet. A little circle detailing. And there's swinging around to the back. The flat back of the head with like the little four circles that are present on a lot of versions of Optimus Prime. The little backpack back here is sort of like the masterpiece figure. And hanging out on the back, oh my goodness, is his tire. He has uh, the tire butt or tire back, which um, kind of sucks a little bit. It's not, my goodness, it looks like the tires are painted over the, the gray plastic. Because like, like. it's different here. Here, these tires are black and the rim is painted silver. But up here, you get... A gray plastic and black painted wheels. I mean, that's dumb as shit. I'm telling you, what the hell? Uh, anyway, in front of the chest, he has the um, the cab windows for the front of his chest. Standard Optimus Prime stuff has a little vent here, windshield wipers, some molded in lights here, some molded in detail on the shoulder here. It is not present here, obviously. I guess because of the Autobot logo, could sit there better. Um, I guess some pins running through his arms, his hands. His hands are metallic as well, and he has uh, articulation. I guess this is what bumps this figure up to the next level. He actually has articulated hands. I think this I might have seen it somewhere else, and I forgot, but articulated hands. Wow. So uh, the little grill down here has the little silver striping here molded in to his abdomen. I love the masterpiece. Now, this part is just a little thick to me. It could have been cut off up here. A little thick in the waist, um, gray plastic thighs, 
blue plastic legs with silver painted vents and some gray plastic in there. Bottom of the sheet. And they could have painted the tail lights right here. What becomes the tail lights bottom of his feet. Turn them around. His legs are filled in. No giant Halloween back here. I guess everything is filled in. Pretty cool. And what they also went ahead and did and filled in the arms with a transformation. Instead of just having this hole just gaping out, they filled that in. So I we guess are going to run through his articulation. Head 360s. I guess it's, it is. It's on a ball joint, not just a hinge. So he can lean his head to one side or the other like he's curious or something. You can look up that far and down that far, which is pretty good. Uh, his elbows, I mean shoulders, sorry, shoulders come up this far. They 360 at that hinge. And yeah, over here on the shoulders, the hinge here. Again, getting it up that far. Coming down to his bicep. So it was at the bicep. Right there, full 360. Elbow bends this far before hitting the plastic right there. Um, coming to his hand, his wrist 360. We saw the hand opens. I was gushing over that, still geeking out about that. That's pretty cool. No such thing as an ab crunch on these guys. Waist articulation is this much. It could be more if it wasn't for the butt pieces with 360. So if I can move these out of the way real quick before transforming it. So yeah, it comes down and then you can get a full 360 if you wanted to, but you have to move all this. So I just seen a little bit of transformation preview right there. And his waist joint comes up this far right here. And it goes back that far. And he has a thigh swivel right here, 360 in that entire thigh. A knee bend, an awesome knee bend. Awesome knee bend. <laughs> right there, and coming down to his foot, he has a rocker so you can get his stance wider and keep both feet on the ground. Autobots, attack. And speaking of stance and posability, I'm gonna take his rifle. Wait, I'm gonna look at his rifle. And it is a bit stubby. <laughs> I wish it pulled out, but it has a transformation gimmick like the masterpiece. Which I didn't like it on the masterpiece. I don't think I like it here. I'm not. I don't dislike it, but it's just it's nothing for me. Got they changed the little clip. It's almost like an AK-47 clip now. And for some reason, it's gray plastic painted black, which is is dumb shit. I'm just gonna say it. Like why why even do that? Like they could the whole thing. Should have been black plastic because they actually used it. Sometimes if they don't use that plastic, they won't, they'll just paint over it. But they actually used it in this toy. It's here. It's present right here. And then they uh, paint it here and here. Man, I, I, I do not like it when they do that. And people say, say in the comments, well, why is he always um, harping on something? Because I don't like it. I want my message to get out. Do you like it? Just make the whole damn thing black plastic. Shit. So um anyway, I'm gonna close his hand that we get it into his hand. The 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 opening is the exact same size. I don't know what millimeter type thing. I'm not that type of guy. Um that it is that accommodates all the weapons and he holds it firmly, even though the hands open, which is very cool. All type of pose. The only thing I'm seeing in this mode that I don't like is uh the uh tire butt. And you can kind of see the bumper. From the front, and again, it's not that bad. It's another Optimus. They did something different. I forgot, totally forgot about a little fold up gimmick just that fast. You can fold it up, store it this way. Bam, sort of like the masterpiece. Only thing is not hidden inside the little compartment. So I think that's it for the basic figure. Other than um, critique on the paint, my paint's good. So moving on to his trailer before I do some transformation. And look, this thing is just, they shamelessly hollow the hell out of it. I don't know if something else ports or connects that makes this of use, but they hollowed the shit out of it. And has a little um, circuitry molded in here like the Masterpiece version. It's all throughout the trailer. They could have saved some money on that. And here's the little armature that came loose. Just two little pegs right here, the claw arm, and then it has the false canopy. <laughs> like it would open or it wouldn't open. It would be nice if they done it in blue. Maybe some customizer could hook us up and make us a little bit better one. It has the claw arm that doesn't actually work. They just move or it's two claw arms. 
No radar dish. Two claw arms and two giant cannons which you can plug in the battle master of firing things too. So I think it's mostly meant to stand up and move that back. And you put Optimus Prime anyway, he here. stands right here and he takes up the entire trailer. I mean they cheaped out on this tiny trailer. A lot of people say they happy to include it, but not at this price point. Not at the uh $49.99. They could have just gave me this and maybe let me buy this later or something separately. And then it would have been more worth it if they had thrown in a roller. I would have preferred they left off. I don't even know what to call this thing. If they left this off uh, and gave me a roller because that's probably about the same amount of plastic. And like I say, maybe a third party will give it to us. So, real quick, I sort of overlooked it, but he has what eight ports in here, and you can store weapons. I think you can store weapons in here, maybe sort of. Yeah, and you can store. All right, let's do this transformation thing. I'm gonna just remove his gun, and the one thing I already know is that the hands fold away as they should for Optimus Prime right into his arms, like that. Let's check out the head, open up this. Okay, I need to do further transformation. Let's get the wheels done. I know these pop out. Hold the bumper down in the back. Rotate the waist. Please rotate the waist. Put the legs together. There are some tabs there. Connection points there. Go ahead and close out the feet. Become the back of the truck and the headlights, tail lights. Rotate this down. Oops, and I reached another part of transformation by accident. Take these little pieces here, fold them back, that back, come to this side, fold this little piece back, open that up. <laughs> I actually did that by accident, <laughs> but I rolled with it like I did it on purpose. Open this thing up, I guess it opens up, and it comes down, wait, let me put the bumper down, and maybe I can get the head in now. Yep, there's the head, close this piece up, I think it... It snaps shut, and here's the entire front of the truck now. I'm going to bring this in. I need to lock this. I didn't check to see if these windows actually open. They actually open. Oh, the Matrix is in there. Wow, I guess I'll hit that when I get back to robot mode. Okay, uh, I didn't even check that out. Wow, I, I, I didn't even know that. Talk about dumb luck. So, um, the hands tuck into the side. Just like the G1, just like the MP10, but unlike um, unlike MP44, it, this is a very uh, G1 inspired transformation. Of course, it's updated and it's got some awesome changes to it. And tab these things in while I'm talking. And there's some tabs there and you just close this down. And that is it. Simple and sweet. Unlike MP44, if you see my MP44 um review i really didn't care for his transformation at all i mean at all this is like um like the g1 i mean there are differences but the arms are supposed to come into the side like this so here is the cap of the truck transform i think i got it all tabbed in you can see where there's a red paint over the translucent blue i got some smudges right there on my translucent blue it's not too bad but you can see the difference in the the painted and then the, um the red plastic front of the truck i love the translucent headlights and it actually molded circles in there for the headlights that's a lot of nice detailing you got rivets going on here throughout and you can see the windshield wipers you can see them also in robot mode bumper just cool uh, oh he has gas tanks right here it's just <laughs> Fold out half the tanks is hollowed out. And there are the gas tanks right there. Different, and he has like more ports here. So you can port like the weapon side of the vehicle. Good. Get him down, see how he rolls. Rolls pretty good. I have all six tires are rolling. So on to the trailer. And I'm gonna close this back up. Get this thing transformed. And just close the two halves. It's kind of not cooperating. I think these are supposed to be out of the way. I don't know. Close two halves and close up the door. So here he is with the trailer. And damn, that trailer is small. 
But it's good to see the trailer back. All the tires are rolling great. Trailer splitting a bit. But yeah, and then the trailer's not. There it is. It wasn't staying shut. And I guess, does this thing fold out in this mode as well? Maybe we can do it like this. I guess I guess we get this out of it. Turn it this way. We get this out of it, so I guess that's more or less the same thing, I guess. Well, maybe I need to quit crying and just accept it for what it is, but we get that out of it right there. And then the trailer is trying to separate again, right? Like, what's up with that? But whilst I have it in truck mode I'm bring out my G1 here is my G1 Optimus I'm gonna get this hold on get him to the back it's one of my G1 Optimus primes anyway and pull them along side by side and you can see that the cabs are comparable in size but the trailer differences oh my goodness look at this all right, to keep the comparisons rolling, I'm going to bring in Siege Optimus Prime and compare these guys side by side. And I think I'm going to drop out the trailer for a second so we can check them out nose to nose. This one, Siege, is just a hair longer at the feet in this mode or the back of the truck, tail lights. Um, front of the cab. And I just realized that this guy has molded in mirrors. They stand out. When I put them side by side, it like actually just popped out at me. It has molded in mirrors. Turn to the side, this side, and they share similar ports on the side, but he has no ports on top for weaponry. And again, the back of the truck, the feet are damn near the same. I wonder if that's the same, exact same foot on top. I think that's the exact same foot mold right here on top so they actually share that and the bottom they, they share the same feet and I just I just peeped that out um also the, the the lower leg the the ventilation here the little ridges here all this is the same from here down just this top piece and also I'm assuming he can carry the trailer in his little port yep there Oh, just fine. And I'm going to continue my parade of Optimus Primes just because I have them and I can parade them around. Here is the Bumblebee movie studio series. I forget which studio series. Optimus Prime and these guys, I'm going to drop the trail out again. These guys side by side and they're pretty comparable here. Here, this guy's much taller. Right here, he has the mold in the mirrors too and they actually painted them silver, which is a lot better. The Titans Return. Optimus Prime, I forget which class he is. But I think they're the same class figure, but you get a lot more with this. And oh man, this cab was just a sloppy hot mess. But and the trailer is actually bigger. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, uh, this one is definitely better than that. And I'm gonna go a little bit further back. I didn't get the triple changer Optimus Prime. It was like a retool of Octane. But this is the Combiner Wars Optimus Prime, and this cab is way larger. Now to get this guy out here with my previously reviewed, like 10 minutes ago reviewed, uh, must have been more than 10 minutes, but I just sat here and reviewed this figure, Wheeljack, next to Optimus Prime, and uh, I know he won't fit, but we're going to try it anyway. First of all, he's hitting this little nub right here, bam, but uh, nope, he will not fit in there, and the figure I reviewed about an hour ago, uh, Cliff Jumper, pretty sure he'll go in there. Close that up and Cliff Jumper is going for a ride. All right. All right, before I switch him back into his robot mode, you can store this gun underneath. He has three ports under here and you can get it under here. Uh, I'm putting it right here. Store it under there if you would like. Okay, now that I have Optimus back in his robot mode, I'm gonna go over a couple features that I missed and kind of discovered or remembered during transformation. His chest opens up to reveal some detail and a matrix in there. Yes, and this thing is removable. I got the nails for it. They're out of his chest. Come on. Oh, breaking the dang on thing. All right, I have it out, but let's take a look at that matrix cavity in there. Some silver paint. 
very reminiscent of the masterpiece from silver on the insides i guess that's why we can't see through because they didn't want you to see the matrix inside but they should have just made it thick translucent anyway here is that matrix of leadership i think it's upside down it's basically a blue plastic painted over orange metallic and silver it's hollowed out in the back yeah, they will hollow anything out but there it is it's pretty cool i'm assuming that's why his hands open so that he may accommodate the matrix so we can get it in optimus hand i'm gonna run the thumb through it but his chest is too big so let's see if we can light our darkest hour this way uh, maybe move optimus back a little bit so you guys can see it all right we'll rotate his hands around turn him in rotate his hands around and see if I can get him to hold on to this matrix. Kind of wish he could gaze up a little bit better at it or whatever, but that's pretty cool that he can actually hold this matrix. Easy. So also the trailer door, the cliff jumper, the trailer door comes off. And this creates a shield for Optimus Prime, which is like, it's dumb. It's dumb because if he's made out of the same stuff this trailer made out of, and the trailer's a shield, he can just stand there and take blasts like, pew, 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 and like, there's no problem. Because like, what's the difference between hitting his and hitting his chest? You know, but anyway, and I guess the, uh, having it down like that doesn't make sense. But he can make it into a shield, and he can defend the laser fire coming in. It'd be cool if they had a place to peg it in like he was getting blasted, like one peg. Maybe I can squeeze it in there. Or here. Okay, we got squoze it in right there like he's taking that blast. But he can take a blast and return fire. And speaking of blast effects, just looking at this made me think uh, third parties are going to uh, tear this thing all up. Where is his energy axe? Like, they even made it where his hand folds away. You know, look at that. Where is his energy axe? I don't think I've heard or seen anybody talk about an energy axe for Optimus Prime. Like, oh, and you know what? There is another gimmick. This thing detaches and he has a port in his back and you can port this into his back. Yeah. So it can go in his back and articulate up and down from getting it all in. It can come out and help Optimus Prime and you should be able to add blast effects to it. A couple smaller blast effects. Right there, and yeah, it's clearly one of my blast effects is smaller than the other. And Optimus can do that while he's fighting. These things can go on, and I guess that's pretty cool. Or you can take it off, swivel it around, move these little hands up. And this this is probably the most clever part of the whole thing. Now it's his rocket pack. Over, Prime. We've lost. No, not yet. Sideswipe. Give me your rocket pack. My rocket pack? Now! Uh, yeah, right. This is crazy, Prime. You'll never catch it. I'll be back, Jazz. <laughs> okay, I can compare all these guys, but I'm not. Um, the main two I want to compare is the Siege versus the Earthrise Optimus Prime. And they appear to have the exact same head. Just, um... The blues change. This has a little bit of metallic fleck to it, just a little bit. The eyes are metallic blue eyes, where these are, I guess they're metallic blue also, but it's a little bit lighter blue. The paint job is slightly different. Um, then the nose, at least on mine, has silver paint on the nose in there. And this one, it doesn't look like it. either they missed it. Or they did it like the G1 toy and just left it unpainted. But it makes the face look slightly different. It took a second for me to recognize this is the exact same head. Also, when you turn it around. And this has a, a layer of paint over it. Which gives it that um, metal sheen. Exact same back of the head. And back to the front of these figures. Completely different chest. They changed that. Different smokestacks. Different... Um, shoulder forearms not forearms but uh shoulder parts different forearms coming down here they have different laser rifles which um if they could have left something the same might have been a gun you know i mean like does the gun have an earth mode i don't think so obviously the hand scopes are different because this one is hinged 
they changed also the waist they changed a little grill this one is a molded separate piece over here and this one is just molded into the plastic and they also made it a separate color which is a very nice touch and they changed the waist the grill down here is different it looks very similar but it is definitely different the waist has changed i guess they wanted to completely change the guy because they didn't want anybody to say well i have the siege why do i need the earth rise but they totally changed the thing but this front from the knees down in the front is the same i mean it has an extra part in here and in here for the um different modes but this front cover part is the same with just a few different paint apps down to the toes so um they share the head and front of the legs all right to close this review out man i gotta say this is a pretty cool optimus prime i, th I think it's the best optimus prime um outside of a masterpiece in some years now <laughs> at least five six years outside of a masterpiece this is really really cool stuff he comes with he could have came with more obviously the trailer could have been bigger obviously and he could have not been um 50 bucks obviously but for what's here what you get is awesome he's a clear cut above all the optimists they've done over the last few years with the exception of masterpiece uh, optimus primes Awesome accessories. The trailer is a pretty cool accessory. It's just undersized. I'm sure a third party is going to take care of that. And I'm wondering what's going on with the energy axe. He's the first guy that I actually like all this stuff like attached to. Normally I just take it off and I don't need that. And I try to keep it as uh, generation one as possible. But I'm loving all this. I'm going to be zooming around the room with this thing. And um, yeah, I, I actually recommend this figure. It's a hefty price. Um, cause you basically, the, the trailer is basically 20 bucks pretty much. And, uh, no, <laughs> even though it turns into this, maybe if they gave you the effects or maybe, um, if they gave you the energy axe and maybe the energy axe is going to be like a battle match. I don't even know what they call it in this line, but the little guys with the gimmick driven, you get the blast effects. Maybe that's going to be a character that goes with him down the road or something. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. But I do like it, and I do recommend it, and I want to thank you for watching another episode of George Reviews, the reviews where every toy has a story.